Ladies and gentlemen, we have seen a bullish day across the board and I wanted to bring in our uh, analysis up to date. Um, I was going to post uh, an analysis a couple of days ago and then I just did it. I'm like, okay, maybe a lot of people aren't going to like it. But anyway, here is the post analysis of the bullish day I was expecting. So we're going to do, we're, we are trying to going to dis do discuss all of this that we have right over here. We'll discuss crude oil, gold and silver. Uh, Nasdaq and this is also Nasdaq, Dow Jones, S&P 500, FTSE, Nifty, DAX and after we have done DAX then we will switch on to the next section which is our Forex section. The Forex section is uh, we have Euro, British Pound, Canadian Dollar, Japanese Yen, New Zealand Dollar, Australian Dollar, US Dollar itself and uh, we will definitely definitely look at crypto. Okay, in the end we will try to look at the crypto. So we have a lot to discuss and then we're going to start right now from the crude oil section. Okay, here is the crude oil in front of us. First of all, the, the price movement that has happened today is a correction. It's, it's not a, a rocket science. Uh, this is the same pattern that we are seeing across the board, uh, but in some occasions it's uh, working out differently. So it's very important to, to know where our point is um, and I'm expecting that we have clearly seen an impulsive move starting from this top to the end right over here. So I'm considering this whole price movement as a single impulsive move and I'm expecting this as a correction wave A, wave B and wave C and I'm going to label it that way and I'm expecting that we are going to start seeing uh, on the bearish side as well. So this is an A, B and C and then we'll start moving downward. I'm expecting another longer uh, run towards the bearish side in crude oil. I'm bearish on crude oil. And let's have a look at the next one. A lot of people are probably looking at gold and they're saying, okay, Mohammed was, um, my first name is Mohammed. So Shaheen was uh, uh, bearish on gold and uh, what's happened. This is the pattern that I was going to identify and I'm like, okay, this is, uh, I, I, I'm not sure whether a lot of people are going to like it. I was considering this as wave 1 and 2, another is 1 right over here. We can clearly see a 5 wave structure. Or in other case, what we can do is we can simply consider it as wave 1 and 2, wave 3 subdivided, wave 4 and wave 5. And right now we have wave A, wave B and wave C. And this trend line is coming in handy and we are also kind of falling into that area. Next 2 to 3 trading days are going to be absolutely drastic. Reason is that we have seen uh, this price movement and a lot of people are going to get caught in this price movement. And as an analytician, we are well aware of an expanded flat. Um, and when these, when I try to uh, give my analysis, a lot of people don't like it. I understand that everybody has a, a chance not to. But Elliott wave analysis is a little more flexible, especially in terms of shapes and patterns. You need to, once you are in the market for a good while, you need to understand that, for example, who would say that this is an uh, expanded flat? But the reaction that we're going to see in the next two, three days are going to actually tell you. We are definitely going to see the price movement, in which case the very least resistance is expected. So a dramatic price is expected downward on the bearish side. And the reason is because uh, I'll, I wanted to show you guys the daily time frame chart. Let's see if you can actually get it. And I wanted to show you guys the historic moment where the when the, as soon as the main resistance was dropped and then see what happened. So this is the one moment I'm talking about. As soon as we cut the main resistance, the price is dropped below the main resistance and then imagine, just see what happened. I'm expecting a similar behavior is expected right over here. The reason is because we have already broken the main resistance right over here. We are not only broken the main resistance, we are kind of retesting it right now. So this is very, very important point to understand that the next two, three days are going to be absolutely bearish. It is quite a possibility that we might see a drop of somewhere around $200 price, price in uh, per ounce in gold. So I'm bearish, I'm clearly bearish on, uh, on gold and I'm clearly bearish on silver. Once again, if you look at the pattern and let me show you guys the five wave structure. Here is the 5 wave structure that you are expecting it as wave 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5. And once again, look at it, how dodgy this price movement is. Okay, because wave A is this chart and then wave B went way almost double of this one. And then wave C is almost triple the size of this one, about two and a half times the size of this wave A. 
So it's giving you an indication that we are bearish on that side. And there's also another trend line that I drew and I've deleted that. Let's draw that again. And we kind of retesting that trend line as well right now. So that trend line is being retested right now. We can see that we dropped from the outer trend line and then we are retesting it right now. That clearly is indicating that we are seeing bearish price movement. So please do understand to use money management and do understand to use smaller position. Uh, once again, analysis and trading to completely different things. NASDAQ, once again, we have seen uh, a clear price structure. You cannot be more clear than right over here. We are clear, impulsive and corrective. We have another impulsive and corrective right over here. So we can we are expecting further decline downside. So you can consider it as a one and two and we are considering this as one and two. It means the price movement downward is going to be drastic. So I'm bearish for next couple of weeks on NASDAQ, on stock market, on gold and silver. But next three days are definitely strongly bearish and then we'll get some uh, probably some breathing space. We'll see some uh, healthy correction after that. But we might not even the market not give us a chance. So very, very strong bearish price action, uh, price action is expected on, on the stock market in US indices especially. Dojon is showing a similar pattern. We can clearly see that we have a clear structure right over here or it ended right over here. And then we can clearly see an expanded flat. So once again, nothing, no rocket science. We are bearish, strongly bearish on Dojons as well. S&P is, I think, showing the similar structure right over here. Once again, wave A, wave B, and wave C. FTSE will do a quick look. I haven't seen FTSE today. So how you want to discuss it? Do you see some similarity? Although in this case that we can see that wave is this short. This is wave B, which is double zigzag, and wave C, which is not, which has gone further deeper in case of gold. So it's, there's a lot of variety. It's not just simply straight away going, uh, kind of making a box right over here, and this this is then a flat correction. No, the real market is very different. Let's have a look uh, how Nifty is doing. Uh, we had a bullish day. I'm not sure how Nifty is going to go uh, open up tomorrow. Uh, so as I given my, in my previous analysis, now we have uh, a surety that the structure ended right over here. So the bottom that actually started, the wave, that wave is complete right over here. So we can see some bullish price action tomorrow in the early hours to correct it and then I'm bearish. All right, I'm absolutely bearish. We might not see a new low down over here, but I'm bearish on right over here. There's no guarantee that we are not going to see a new low. So once again, in my previous analysis, in case you guys missed it, I gave us an analysis that uh, there is a possibility you're looking at this structure to complete, but the, there was a chance that prices will penetrate in that case that would mean that we are looking for a structure that ended right over here and then we are bearish from the over here so we are still bearish there is a possibility of a bullish pullback and then pull down the downside DAX let's have a look at a quick DAX as well so we have been bearish on DAX for a good while you guys are well aware of it and we can see that bearish uh, that price action is uh, the minor correction that has happened right over here is not even able to push the prices in deeper state right over here. So in this case, we can consider that the one, two, three, four, and five, and a correction, which is probably a zigzag, has not been able to push it even in that area, which it did in other markets. So giving us indication that DAX is even more weaker. So I'm bearish on DAX as well. I'm doing this quickly because the, the pattern that we are seeing are almost the same. Forex is very interesting one. Japanese yen, I get, uh, did not uh, get to see, uh, did not make that pattern, but we'll discuss that. Once again, the pattern is right over here, A, B, and C. Let's have a look at a, fifth, at a previous chart that we have, uh, hourly time frame chart. So we can clearly see a behavior right over here, one impulsive wave and a corrective wave. An impulsive wave and a corrective wave. This corrective wave that we are looking at right now is not going to take that much time that we have seen right over here giving us an indication that this is a different degree of the wave and this itself is a different degree of the wave i'm bearish on euro i'm expecting more weakness even dramatic weakness in euro and british pound so british pound is also not exactly showing expanded flat the reason is because it jumped uh, sharply on its first leg than it was doing right over here wave a wave b and wave c and we are bearish on um, uh, British pound as well. Nothing new on that. I'm expecting bearish to be continuing for a good two, three days. It will actually keep the prices even in more pressure. 
Canadian dollar is very interesting. Once again, we have seen uh, a correction that has ended right over here. And the most recent correction that we are seeing is giving us indication. First of all, we have a very uh, dangerous looking correction. This one either or either we have this correction. So in that case, we have an impulsive wave completed right over here and a correction. An impulsive wave completed and a correction. And this correction, I guess, is complete. That's for my education and analysis. This correction is very close to the completion and we shall be expecting more bearish pressure on Canadian dollar. I'm expecting US dollar to be strengthening even more. Uh, surprisingly enough, the um, uh, Japanese yen have not shown uh, the the correction that we were expecting as because we had already completed the structure right over here. So giving us an indication that Japanese Gen is moving on its own price action. That's very interesting. I'm expecting that this price action that will continue upward. <coughs> New Zealand dollar. Once again the there is no magic right over here simple simple correction right over here we have seen a massive decline and then we have wave a a b and a c and we are bearish on new zealand dollar i'm expecting very strong wins against uh, these forex pairs and i'm expecting us dollar to skyrocket uh, in next few days as well so how do you guys look at this one right now okay if if you once the price action follows you'll realize what i'm talking about so once again, the prices, the pattern, especially with the flat correction, is expanded flat correction is not easy to determine. We have this correction completed very close, and then we are bearish more further downside for Australian dollar. Let's have a look at US dollar itself. Uh, we have seen a healthier correction for people who missed the, the bullish side of the US dollar. You can go long if you are interested in, and I'm expecting that more bullish price action is expected in US dollar as well. Let's have a quick look at uh, at crypto pairs, and uh, I'll do a Bitcoin mainly, and then you guys can look at uh, everything else as well. So once again, we have not seen uh, the strength that we have seen in the general market to come in the um, in cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency and uh, Japanese yen both had already completed the uh, correction that we have seen today. So I'm expecting that we have seen first leg and jump and we will continue bearish action on um, Bitcoin. And I have figured out that there is a good possibility that we are going to touch, um, you know, the next important bottom is going to be this high, 13,500. So this is the next important bottom that we are seeing and then we'll discuss more one by one how things are looking at right now. I hope that you like the content. Please press thumbs up and uh, see you guys soon. Have a good one and bye bye.